couldn't talk peacefully. They tried, and I was like, nigga, this is cool, we are. Super Crypto Blood, I want to introduce you guys to a new exchange, Bityard. They do cryptocurrency contracts. If you're like me, an active trader, you're probably sick of the market manipulations, forced liquidations, accurate Bitcoin reference rates over at Bityard with K-line weighted averages. No VPN hassle, available for U.S. citizens, and fully regulated in Singapore, Australia, Estonia, and the U.S. Profit losses are all in USD as well, and no fees with U.S. withdrawals. And most importantly, you can do deposits with fiat unlike bitmex you can't do that right so check out bityard.com i'll leave a link in the description below oh yeah it's your boy crypto blood and welcome to another episode of my two satoshis it is june 22nd 2020 shout out to my man wired sparks for yet another song request this one is by sir john redcorn never heard this one nice little mellow r&b joint thanks for that song request bro welcome guys to another episode today we are going to look at oh oh another plus token move i don't know if you guys know about plus token but it is a ponzi scheme a big one i think the biggest ponzi scheme that ever occurred in cryptocurrencies this is just my opinion they had a lot to do with the uh crash in early of 2019 and some of the moves in early 2020 so we're going to see what this whole situation is about. Looks like they are moving EOS tokens. So maybe EOS is going to take a dump. We'll see. Secondly, out of the Bitcoin, it looks like the probability of an Ethereum parabolic move in 2020 is about 7%. We'll read through how they came to that conclusion in that article. And then lastly, the big news here, it looks like PayPal and Venmo are rolling out cryptocurrency buying and selling about time. They're way behind the eight ball. We got a cash app already doing that. They've been doing that for quite some time. So it looks like finally PayPal will be in that business as well. That's a big move. That will put a nice bid under cryptocurrencies. I don't know which ones they're going to be rolling out initially, but it looks like sources say this is happening. Bullish sign for cryptos. Absolutely. Maybe some of the reason why we see Bitcoin up almost 3% today. But we'll take a look at that here shortly as well. All three articles on today's episode of My Two Satoshis. But before we start, if you guys find these types of videos informative, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and click that bell to receive more videos like this. And also, ladies and gents, don't forget, tomorrow I will be picking the first winner from the Dudex promo I'm doing with them. Basically, whoever has the highest trading volume in the last two weeks uh, will get the $50 in usdt token so make sure you use the link in the description below sign up because right now there is literally no person that is meeting the criteria for this so sign up and start trading you may be the winner because no one really participated they signed up but no one funded their account and started trading so great platform i'm using it i'm actually working with them now to sync my algos over on that exchange as well so get over there to dudex.com, use the link in the description below and start trading and you may win that $50 tomorrow. I'll be doing a drawing every two weeks. So another two weeks, you'll have the opportunity to win again. And also, before we get started today, don't forget, this ends at the end of this month. Get cryptos for 0% credit card fees at crypto.com. There's a link in the description below to take advantage of that. It's almost like you're buying 3.5% more cryptos because you're not getting charged that 3.5% from the Visa or MasterCard that you're using to purchase crypto. So get over there, crypto.com, sign up and start purchasing today. So let's take a look at the heat map for today. We've got a big move in the crypto game, probably because of this PayPal situation we're going to talk about. But Bitcoin up 3.8% to 9,660 bucks. Ethereum going crazy, up 6% to 243 bucks we got xrp up 1.1 percent litecoin up 2.6 percent to 44 dollars and 33 cents eos up 2.5 percent to two dollars and 58 cents binance up 2.6 percent to 16 dollars and 42 cents digibyte going ham today up 22 percent shout out to all the digibyte hodlers out there i have to go research and see why we see such a surge in digibyte today but look at this chart i told you guys last week if we saw a move above this 94.63 area, we would see a breakout and attempt to take out the 98.67 level, which looks like it's happening right before our eyes. So we'll see what happens, but it's looking positive at this point because we did break above this threshold 
as well so we made new highs all this right here was pretty much an area we needed to break above and we did that so we'll see what happens in the next couple hours though so let's take a look at this article out of coin telegraph about plus token moving another 76 million dollars to an unknown wallet signaling potential eos dump it looks like the wallet associated with the alleged crypto ponzi scheme plus token has moved 26,316 eos tokens worth around 67 million dollars at press time to an anonymous crypto wallet created less than 24 hours ago the transaction was spotted by tracking service well alert earlier today plus token is believed to be one of the largest cryptocurrency scams in history as it reportedly held over three billion dollars worth of assets including bitcoin ethereum and eos launched in may of 2018 plus token acted as a crypto wallet service and investment program promising high monthly returns it was primarily marketed in china and south korea and you know i always say when you have these types of platforms or these types of ponzi schemes to get this big i personally think that governments were behind this there's no way you allow a scheme like this to get three billion dollars big i'm sorry without some type of either solely created by the government or influence or allowed i should say by the government so we'll see what happens with this 60 i think it's uh 70 67 million dollars worth of eos tokens it was moved to an unknown and newly created wallet address so maybe it's not necessarily going to uh, exchanges it could be a scenario where the coins are mixed and dumped in another coin so we could possibly see another sell-off from this we've seen it in the past um let's see if there's enough liquidity to absorb any type of huge sell-off in the crypto markets i will say the last time plus token made these types of moves and dumps it was a billion dollars in one selling move that really crashed the markets 67 million dollars is not is a drop in the bucket if you compare it to the one billion dollar sale that was made i don't know i don't think this is going to have much of a dent in the markets you may see a five percent three percent move down if they decide to sell but that's nothing in comparison to what they did last year with a one billion dollar move and dump of cryptos onto the markets so let me know your thoughts on that but i thought that was interesting shout out to big curious mom for that one next article out of the bitcoin is it's talking about there is only a seven percent chance or probability that ethereum sees a parabolic rise in 2020 looks like ethereum has been moving in close tandem with bitcoin throughout the past several days and weeks struggling to garner any independent momentum this sideways trading has done little to bolster the crypto's bull case that being said analysts have been pointing out its fundamental strengths as a reason why it may soon explode data seems to suggest that the crypto only has a seven percent chance of seeing any type of intense parabolic rally before the end of the year this chance is degrading by the day too as eth may be growing weaker the longer it consolidates so and this article was written earlier today but things move so fast in the crypto markets we did see bitcoin move out of that consolidation area as i talked about earlier in the video i didn't show you the ethereum chart but ethereum moved out as well so maybe this is outdated already. This article is saying that new data also shows that cryptocurrency's midterm outlook may not be too bright as there is only a 7% chance that it climbs by 100% from its current price levels by the end of the year. This comes despite there being many positive fundamental developments seen over the past few months with Ethereum. And so they're calling a parabolic move over 100% increase in the price this year. Now, honestly, I'm thinking parabolic is something like 500 percent i you know 100 percent to me in the crypto industry is not parabolic i can see definitely ethereum going up almost 100 percent by the end of this year we got six more months almost or i should say uh five more months at this point so yeah I'm, i don't know I, I don't like their definition of parabolic you guys let me know do you think 100 percent move is a parabolic move in cryptocurrencies to me, it is not. According to recently released data from analytics platform Skew, the probability of Ethereum climbing to 480 bucks by the end of this year sits at 7%. They said that stable coins and DeFi seems like a more sustainable product or market fit for Ethereum compared to ICOs, but the market doesn't see it yet necessarily as adding as much dollar value for ETH. Yeah, that's the thing. It's very hard to you know, give a, a proper analysis on Ethereum. Last year, my my analysis on ethereum was that it was not going to perform very well because i'm thinking of it as ethereum being used for smart contract platforms like dApps a whole bunch of dApps i'm talking about companies moving over using you know ethereum to build their dApps in their applications 
I didn't see that happening. But now we're seeing a shift away from that more towards DeFi, which is hot, is really heating up. However, you may not need Ethereum like that as far as it adding dollar value to Ethereum, the token, the Ether token with DeFi. So to me, if DeFi is a way that, uh, you know, Ethereum grows in bandwidth as far as transactions on the network, I don't see that translating directly into a higher uh, token price for Ether. We'll have to see. I personally think Ethereum will do very well when and if it can upgrade to ETH 2.0. Once that happens, you'll see dApps plus DeFi, and that will, to me, garner a lot more buying pressure on the Ethereum token. You'll have the 32 ETH staking requirement. I'm gonna go ahead and, and stake 32 ETH just because, and you know, gain some revenue from that, but I don't see it really being a big factor as far as it going parabolic in my eyes, which is like a three, four, five, 100% move up, not 100%, 100% can happen easily in crypto. So let me know, do you think Ethereum will be at 480 bucks by the end of this year? And is that parabolic to you? I don't know, it don't seem parabolic to me. Let me know in the comments below though and we'll have that conversation. Lastly, this is the big news, PayPal and Venmo to roll out crypto buying and selling. So it looks like the FinTech giant plans to roll out direct sales of cryptocurrencies to its 325 million users, according to three people familiar with the matter. Currently, PayPal can be used as an alternative means for withdrawing funds from exchanges such as Coinbase, but this would be a first in terms of offering direct sales of crypto. The source said that their understanding is that they are going to allow buys and sales of cryptos directly from PayPal and Venmo. They are going to have some sort of built-in wallet functionality so you can store it there as well. It's unclear, the article says, which of or how many cryptocurrencies would be available. The industry source said they expected PayPal would be working with multiple exchanges to source liquidity. A second source confirmed that PayPal is looking to offer buying and selling of cryptos and said the service could be expected in the next three months. PayPal declined to comment, however. And another telltale sign this was probably going to happen was with PayPal posting a lot of job openings uh, in early 2020 for its new blockchain research group. So we'll see what happens there. I wanted to give you guys an update. That will be positive for whichever cryptos they uh, add to the platform. I'm assuming Bitcoin and I'm assuming Ethereum just because those are the two top cryptos in the game. But you got to hedge your bets on something like Litecoin, EOS, some of the other top five to 10 coins will probably get a liquidity boost as well. And you'll see some buying pressure there on those coins. It's because, you know, it's just, it's opening up to 320 million more eyeballs, right? So you're going to get more people buying cryptos just from the sheer fact of them adding PayPal or PayPal adding cryptos to their platform. But that's my two Satoshis for today, ladies and gents. Shout out again to my man, Wired Sparks for the song request, S-I-R, John Red Corn. If you want to be updated about crypto on a daily basis, Make sure you guys hit that like and share button and subscribe. Now check you guys out tomorrow. Ha!